Hey guys, my name is Bob Lund and welcome back to another Marseille video. I am making a video because I don't think a lot of people, including myself, knows about this, or I at least I know about it now, but I didn't know beforehand. Marseille has a secret gimmick, a very, very interesting secret gimmick that is not stated anywhere, but I'm going to show you guys how it works. So, basically, Marseille has pretty mediocre slash bat dispersion when you just fire normally like i just did there you know a full salvo it's it's not the best dispersion but if you hold down your fire button like you see me do here and then while using a rapid reload your dispersion will be progressively better as you can see here this is while i'm holding down the fire button you see in the down bottom right corner you can see my fire button is being hold, held down and I can squeeze in about three salvos here. Um, only my front turret gets shot here, but I'm still holding it down to keep my good dispersion. Once you lift that button, it's going to reset the dispersion progression. Look at that. One, one of those salvos. Look how precise that is. So if we take a look again at the first salvo here without the, uh, the, the gimmick, let's see how that looks. So here you see again the normal salvo, and it's not that it's bad on Marseille, but on it's it's definitely noticeable that it's better when you hold down the fire button. So I have a game here for you guys where I actually play the Marseille and put these this new gimmick to the to the test and show you guys how you can actually use it in a game. Because it's not all the time you're gonna be able to hold down your fire button. And there are also some gimmicks you can use because if you are in a lo locked in a fight, for example, let's say you're brawling a another battle cruiser or a BB, well, if you want to keep your good dispersion, even though you're close close range, you can actually swap to your secondaries and also just hold down the fire button there. These secondaries are Mogador turrets, believe it or not, and there's quite a few of them, and they actually set a lot of fires. The only downside to them is their shell arcs are very high, and they, I don't know. They, they, they feel quite weird, the shell characteristics. But from the last Marseille video I did, it was my first ever game on it. I've played it, you know, a little bit more now. It's it's still a learning process for me. I've had extremely fun games where it's, you know, super fast. You just roll people down, you know, bow in, swapping your turrets left and right. Kind of, kind of like you see me do here. And dodge torpedoes, rapid reload, all that good stuff. And then I've had games where you just do zero damage. But in this one, we're going to do a little bit of damage, at least some. Um, and you can see here, the blind fire was pretty good on that DD. The, uh, the guns feel okay, and you, you kind of need to get close. That's what I've been... You know, that's my, my whole dilemma with this ship is it's really good when you sit on, sit on an island and you only peek out your guns. That way you can keep some of your ships safe. That It's really good in that situation. But... The guns are so bad at long range. They just don't feel very good, even with this gimmick here. And we haven't employed it yet, but I am going to be using it later on in the game. So you can see me here. I am starting to hold down the fire button right now because I see a Vermont and he's actually, you know, in my range. So you can see the... I mean, we hit, we hit three shells and most of them have pens and one of them non-pens. It's not the most exciting ship with the guns. And that's kind of the whole thing with Marseille is it's a big gunboat that can burst stuff to, you know, to the ground. And it can, definitely can, cruisers and stuff, but I, I would I rarely get citadels. I got more citadels with the Cherbourg than I do this thing. Um, but that that's why I feel like you need to get close, right? But in that situation, you're going to get wrecked because you don't have torpedoes, you don't have auto secondaries, you have pretty much nothing other than your sonar and your rapid reload. And your speed boost to get out of sticky situations. And this speed boost is fun, man. It's I, I, I do like the, the skills you get on this ship. It, it makes the whole experience a lot more fun. The fact that you're, you're, your 17 second reload here is not, you know, the only thing you have. You do have a rapid reload to actually kind of spice it up, you know, get some more damage. But the whole ship in itself, it just kind of feels very mediocre. Um... So I'm, 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 I must keep playing with this to figure out how you do this because currently this is one of the best games I've had in the Marseille. I haven't played it all that much, I will admit. Um, it's, it, it, I will just say it's, I, I just haven't really felt like it. It's There's a lot more other options out there, but I don't want to shit on this ship completely because it is good in some situations. 
And it's also more tanky than I thought. The AA could use a boost, either like remove the DFA one, give it scouting plane instead, or give it a DFA two, like make it make it have a chance of defending itself against the planes at its tier because it's so huge and sometimes because you have all guns in front you're forced to be in a weird you know weird angle weird position and the cv will just be able to get you easily because you if you turn broadside you're gonna face vermont's friedrich strike horses for example so you know th it could use some buffs it definitely could use some could use some buffs whereas I think the G9 line, especially the G9, is perfect where it's at, I think. It's relatively balanced, and you know what the gimmick is with the ship. It's got torpedoes, and it shoots HE, and it's very squishy. This thing, it's just, you know what the gimmick is as well. You know it has a rapid reload, but you don't really feel threatened by it. Look at these BPs. I've been shooting at them all game, man. And this Vermont is only, on a, you know, below a half HP. He's going to heal soon, probably. And it was still forced away here. Now, this is the position you don't really want to be in in this ship a kiting position i was trying to get this dd who was rushing my cv but he ended up going down good job to our cv there but now we're getting chased by a vermont and a fdg and i wanted to get this vermont so bad i had hoped my cv would help um he has been low pretty much the whole game but i think the cv was elsewhere i can't really see where now but yeah, you can see here, now we activate it, we're holding it down, and you can see the, the shells will get progressively better here. Um, we're kind of out of range, but we can still hit him since he is going forward. But you can see they're much more, I don't know, grouped when you hold it down. Um, I'm going to keep holding it down here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I am, because I want to retain that good dispersion. You're going to see, even if you wait for like 5 or 10 seconds, it's still going to keep the dispersion. But yeah, we took a huge hit from Vermont. Vermont is very difficult to deal with. And I don't feel like this is an HE ship. The HE damage, it's just not worth it when this, with a 17 second reload. You need citadels, you need full pens. Because full pens deal quite a bit of damage from these guns. And that's my only gripe with it. Even with APCS, um, I don't feel like it, the, the guns pen enough. So they need to buff this thing, if you ask me. Um... I would love to see a lot, you know, some other people's opinions on this ship once they get it. Because I know there's some people that really enjoy this kind of playstyle, and I'm also just very new to it, so I'm still learning. I will keep making videos on Marseille until Cruises Blitz is, you know, out. Because I wanna be I wanna be good at this ship before I make a guide for you guys. I wanna be I, I actually wanna know what to do so I can tell you guys what to do. Because I will say this, it's fun. It's super fun. I've played this ship quite a bit, and it's I've had my fun. Um, but in a situation like this, I feel like I should have just killed at least one of these BBs. I feel like it's it's insane the fact that I've shot all my five rapid reloads into this, you know, into these BBs the whole game, and they're still able to get away. I mean, I'm I, you you guys tell me should I have fired HE? I'm not too sure, man. These are 330 millimeter guns, and they. Yeah, I don't know. They're, they're funky. They are really funky. We're still holding down the fire button, you can see here. We're still holding down and trying to get, you know, a, a perfect salvo. But I feel like this gimmick itself, it's not very consistent, guys. Don't count on it too much. I am not counting on it. I, I only use it when I have my rapid reload up. So a couple seconds before my reload is done, I use rapid reload. And then I start holding down the fire button until it's done. Because I don't feel like running around holding down the fire button, even though I actually can on more, on blue stacks. It's very easy because, you know, I have a mouse, right? It's not worth it. Um, because it's, it, it, you will eventually just, you know, shoot a salvo where you, you, you're not aware of it. And you're going to, it's going to suck. Just don't do that. But there is a special gimmick, guys. And it's, it's holding down the fire button will progressively increase your dispersion or sort of decrease your dispersion. It will make your shells more accurate. I'm not sure it's on the tier 9 or the tier 8, but uh, yeah, here's my build. It's also the same build from the Sherbog video, so nothing special here, um, but yeah. I've been thinking of putting Philippe Abonio on this commander here, on this ship here, but I really do like it on my Henry, I must say, and I feel like Henry is just more my playstyle, but it is worth testing out, so I'm going to probably be making my next video, I'm going to be having put Philippe Abonio on, seeing if it's different, see if, seeing if it's any better. It, it will be probably. I mean, he's a very good commander. 
But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. My name has been Bubloon, and for any of you do you, you guys that do have Marseille, try this out. It's pretty good. I actually do enjoy it. It made my thoughts on the Marseille better. I, I do enjoy it with this gimmick. It's kind of fun to play with, and you do sometimes get some really good dispersion. Very good. So go try it out, and uh, tell me what you think in the comments, guys. My name has been Bubloon, and I am signing off. Thank you.